Green Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 7 of Dance Dance Sisters. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you shouldn't say anything. So basically, you know, hey, talk shit, get hit. Oh, he's so pretty, baby. Ooh, his arms. Oh my gosh. Wow. You will. <laughs> Poor baby. Bob for precious baby June but I mean okay so here, here's something that I want to say that's also been on my mind for a while like all right we know that the skill level between Junpei and Leo is vastly different especially you can see in this episode Junpei is still like as dude said he's getting a lot of like you know wrong things corrections da -da -da -da. but he's he has potential that's the one thing that I really like about this show because it's like he, it's not like it mm, initially being like, oh, hey, you fucked up. Give up on your dreams on what you want to do for ballet and such. Because Junpei is the type of character who was just in here. He's like, you know what? I'm going to prove all y'all wrong. And you know what? He is going to prove that woman wrong. Like, oh, when he dies, it's going to be just the best moment of this show. I'm ready to see him do like some really, mm, I don't really know much ballet moves. Mmm, but like, I'm ready to see a lot. Hopefully we get a lot of issues today. Like, please, I'm ready to see him, like, do some more jumps and twirls and spins and everything. Like, do, do a really good spin and just, you know, and then go into a pirouette and then bow and then just, ah, oh, it would be so good. I want it so bad. Like, ugh. Oh. Yeah, you can also watch videos on them, too. Well, of course! Really? I thought ballet would be created, like, in France, you know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he 
we'll see. True. Do not fall asleep. Pay attention. You see how in sync those three were? Oh. Stop, my heart. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, wait! <laughs> Hold up, wait. We're only on day three of summer school? Jesus. Just getting distracted. Has to be Leo's mom. Yep, so you always have to be grateful and thankful for her no matter what. And of course, the way that they said that and the way that now they're thinking, oh, these two don't really give an absolute shit about this. Mm -hmm. He's right.
Yeah, so you can't really beat him up. You could, but no. You don't want to get expelled from the school, right? Right. And if they win... Oh, I thought it would have been, like, who was going to go the longest. Oh. Yeah, but I feel like he's going to step it up a notch in a few. Oh. Yeah, but he did it a little more gracefully. No, don't pay. You did fine. He's very graceful. Leo? Shut up. Let him do it.
if she don't get no damn clubs, I swear to God. Still, I feel like, okay, the reason he, he can do something like that is because of his grandmother's teaching. So, still hoping that this show goes a little more in-depth on his relationship with his grandmother. But, uh, it might not. It might just be like, hey, go read the manga. Uh-uh. You expect him to eat all of that? No, come on. Leo isn't you from Persona 5 with, like, all the endurance and stamina. He's seriously gonna eat all of it. Oh my god, baby. Of course, he would look him up. Mm. He's gonna use that against him. Oh, damn it. Don't play it because if you... He's sweet, but he feels like the type of person who will blackmail the shit out of you. And so, he's definitely gonna do that to Leo. Like, it's obvious. Yeah, you boys haven't stretched that much. I gotta love what they're doing with these angles and stuff, especially with, like, the cinematography in this. Like, ooh.
it is, but when you dream big, you can do anything. Oh. Yeah, but at the same time, you were getting tortured by that. I can't shake the bad feelings I have every single time I look at him like, uh, the bad feelings. He, he It's going to come up, you know, now that he knows about Leo's mom and the fact that, you know, the father situation. Oh, uh, Jesus. He's going to use that and he's going to blackmail the shit out of him. And that's going to hurt because Leo is precious baby boy. And he deserves everything. But of course, there is always that one character who just <sighs> really wants to, you know, ruin the crap out of someone because clearly they're jealous and such. The competition between these four was very interesting. But of course, Leo won that by a landslide after his performance because uh, no one matched him. He's on his, like, the only one who can match him in a way is Junpei. But still, him and Junpei are two different types of levels. Like, Junpei is the newbie of the group, and, and Leo is, like, hella into the professional mode. So, of course, he can do way much more. But, like, oh. I can't. Baby can do no wrong, but, like, literally seeing those scenes where he is, like, in physical labor that his legs he's in so much pain like that broke my heart he precious baby boy like oh don't do that i don't like seeing him hurt especially as a kid being like that with his grandmother oh god we're gonna see more next week oh and then that's good her she feels like, okay, so comparing this series to, of course, Welcome to the Ballroom, because they both have a very similar, um, no, well, kind of story as except the different things is, is the type of dancing. One is ballet, one is ballroom dancing, and such. Natsuki kind of reminds me of the girl, it's the redhead girl, who ends up getting partnered with the, um, the main lead of that series and such. And how she's this spitfire or fireball of type of character. She's very, like, in your face, passionate, but at the same time, she's very ascendere. Because if you've seen the Welcome to the Ballroom series, you can see that those two literally don't match. And how, like, sometimes a Cinderella and a, you know, an everyday cute little boy that he was cannot really make it work, but they made it work. And so it seems like. We're going to get that with this girl Natsuki and possibly even Leo and Junpei at the same time because, like, I do want Junpei to, um, to partner up with Kaede Hondo's character, but then at the same time, like, Natsuki seems very interesting and such. Miyako, you know, her, like, like I said, Kaede, is hon Kaede Hondo, blah, 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 I cannot speak. Kaede Hondo's character, like, love her to death. She's gorgeous, like, beautiful, precious baby girl as well. But it's something about this girl ever since she's come up on our screens, like at least like what, two weeks ago when we first saw her, I knew she was going to be one of those characters where I was like, I might really like feel some type of way about this girl. And the last time I really felt some way with a girl character who is very kind of what bossy, but still intelligent in how she tells her ish. And literally talk like, she could be talking like so much smack about a person, but she does it in a beautiful, graceful way. Very similar to the girl in Welcome to the Ballroom. So really, uh, once again, I, I literally recommend Welcome to the Ballroom. If you have not seen that show, please go watch it. That show was so good when it came out so many years ago. It, it feels like forever. <laughs> but it, it was very, very good. Like, it's on my Amazon list of rewatch and stuff because I loved re watching that as a reaction every single week because that show was just... Mwah. 
fucking brilliant and I miss that show so damn much. But yeah, I'm just I'm not ready to see more torturous Leo next week because like I said, I love him to death. He is just uh I can't. I I, I just can't. Like he's just baby and I love him. He's so sweet. He he's literally like the types of character or types type of character that I usually like in animes where it's like they're sweet. They're a little hard on themselves, sometimes a little bit too hard on themselves. But it's because they have this really tragic backstory that is even more tragic than the main character. Which, in a way, it is. I mean, yes, Junpei's story is sad, but still, like, yeah. I just, I'm hoping for the best with the rest of these guys. But I feel like, once again, dude is gonna blackmail the shit out of him. Come on now. It happened once in the beginning, and it's gonna happen again now when we get closer and closer to the end of the series. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 7 of Dance Dance. This sir, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on Friday for Episode 8. Bye, guys.